everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing week four's cash stuffing for March um, and we should have £205. So let's give that a count. We've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 205 pounds. Perfect. How are we all doing today? I hope you're well. <clears throat> I haven't actually checked to see if I have the right denominations for things, so we might have to do some swapping. Um, but first off, let's have a look in here. And we actually have some change. We have a few pound coins, two pound coin. So we'll pop those towards challenges. And this five pounds, we're gonna to pop towards um, a, some challenges later as well. It's not normal that I actually have some leftover money in there, so that's great. Um, I'm going to change in here. So I'm going to pop that £2 there for challenges and we'll pop that in there for the penny challenge later. And that is everything. So this week I'm going to up personal to £25. Hopefully we can do that every week. Um, and then that's so that we can do the rock, paper, scissors. So we're going to give heads or tails a little break for the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Yeah, so we've got rock for five, paper for 10 and scissors for 15. So let's have a look, see what we're going to get. And that's paper, so that's 10. And I think I'm just going to pop the money straight in here each week. So let's swap that out for two tens. £10 going in there. And we'll mark off a paper. There we go. Lovely, so that's that started. Yeah, I think I'll just pop the money in here instead of reallocating it and then, or, you know, putting it somewhere each week and then once we've completed it, then we can reallocate it all. Um, so I can go back for the moment. And we've got £15 to go into personal for this week. Hopefully we have some left over as well, that'd be nice. Um, groceries, we're going to do £30 again this week. And obviously, yeah, it did work. Well, I, I did end up spending a little bit on the card. My mum had given me some money to get a new frying pan and iron. And yeah, so I ended up sort of using some of that money for like a few bits in B&M when I bought the iron as well. But yeah, we had a little bit of change left over, so that was nice. Um... Fuel is going to get 40 this week. Uh, I did fill up with the 30 that we had last week. Um, I do still have, a f I think I have like 120, 130 miles left, which is awesome. I'm hoping that I can make that last until next Tuesday when I will go food shopping. And then I'm hoping to go into town and get some slightly cheaper fuel. I think it's about 6p a litre cheaper. If I need to, then I will... Um, use like a tenner of this just to get me by and then yeah get some of the cheaper fuel um beauty is gonna get 25 so 20 and 5 so we've now got 20 40 55 in beauty i'm getting my nails done next tuesday which is really good because this now i have like bent it backwards and forwards so many times i'm gonna have to file it down later because i keep catching it and it's really hurting now <laughs> Um, and then going out is also going to get £10. Pop that in there. So that's got 30 And yeah, just trying to build that up a little bit ready for Peter K in a few weeks' time, which is awesome. And I can't wait for that. <clears throat> okay, into sinking funds. Now, car insurance. We're going to do £20 in here. I'm not doing the tracker for the minute. So 20, so that means we've got 500 in the bank, 20, 40, 60. So 560, I would like to get that to 600 by the end of April, or even slightly more than that. I don't mind if it does go over. We'll see what the funds are like. But yeah, just in case that is a bit more expensive than we had originally planned. Um, car maintenance, we're going to do 25. So that's 20 and 5. Let's mark that off first and then we will give it a count. So 120. And then that spanner for the rest of 
that 10 there for that extra five. So we've got 250 in the bank, 270, 290, 310, 330, 340, 45, 50. So 350 pounds. So that means we're only 50 pounds away from being at that 400 pound mark, which is amazing. And then, yeah, we'll probably carry on stuffing it because again, I do need to use some of that. Um, what else are we doing? I did move emergency fund in front of one month ahead because we're not doing one month ahead at the moment. Um, emergency fund is going to get 20 pounds. <clears throat> so we've got 150 in the bank, 170, 190, 210. That's cool. Although there is slightly more, like I keep saying, because we've got a bit extra in the bank. So we've popped 20 in, so let's mark a 20 off. It's not the right pen. That's this one. Okay. That's building up nicely. And then we're going to do five pounds into Leonard and Lucy. So we can colour in one of these as well. Go. So that is everything in there. So it's now got 10 in there. I'm just going to try and build that up slightly. Well, try and build it up slowly. Um, I haven't got any plans to go and see them as of yet. They are currently in Canada still, uh, which is awesome. But yeah, so we're just going to try and build that up. Um, right, and then the last five pounds is going into occasions. <clears throat> and Will, I've taken the money out. That's gone into the bank as that's been transferred. So we can pop that one to the back of the binder. Lovely. And then, Tanif is fully funded. That five pounds is going to go into Father's Day. So we've got 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 pounds in there. Um, that, that text message alert that I just had is for, um, I was switching my bank accounts. So I thought I'd have a look. I, I wanted my bills account. So basically I get paid into one account and then I move all my money for like rent and bills into another account. So I know that I can't touch that. Um, and it's just there obviously for bills and stuff. Um, however, I thought it would be quite handy if I could get like notifications when money goes out. So, I mean, I'm the only one that puts the money in obviously. Um, and yeah, I, I can't get notifications with Nationwide. So I've looked at switching to a different bank account and seeing what like offers and stuff there were. And there was a 200 pound one for NatWest. So this morning I've just, um, started the process of switching to NatWest because it looks like they also give you notifications. Um, at, although if they don't, or it's not exactly how I wanted it, I don't mind because I'll get 200 pounds out of it when it's all, you know, the criteria has been met. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's all gone through. It was just confirming my ID. Um, okay, right, penny challenge. What have we got? We've got 50, 60, 70, 80, one pound, seven. So, one pound seven, we've got 91, um, it's this pen, so 91 and 16, which we can't do. Um, let's do, let's just do 15. And I'm not going to mark off the one. We'll just have an extra penny in there. Again, I'm not going to bring in the pot. I'm just going to pop that in there now. And there we go. That is that done. Ooh. Okay. So we won't be starting Save the Year <clears throat> until next month. Um, but we've got that five pounds and oh, we've got ten pounds in total. So I think let's... Have a go on the roll it up. So we've got five, 
I don't know, maybe we'll cross off two if we need to. Let's have a look. Five. Oh, we can do that. So we'll cross off that five there. And we'll pop in, let's pop in those coins. Lovely. And I guess we will, let's do one of these or two maybe. <laughs> see what happens okay so we can do two let's just write that down on the calculator she says I don't know why I did that should we just should we just put the five in um, okay let's do let's do a two and a three and we'll get these next two crossed off I like that perfect so that's five going in there And that is all the money gone. It always flies by, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, hopefully I've got quite a lot of hours at work this week with it being the Easter holidays and everything. Um, so I'm hoping that I should have a little bit extra to cash stuff next week. So maybe we can do some more challenges. We shall see. And hopefully I don't maybe overspend or spend all of my money in personal so we can redistribute that into challenges as well um but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one bye